there, folks, and welcome to another Workspace Wednesday right here on Lean Strategies International LLC, where you can find solutions that ignite your power. Now, before we get started, if you're interested in all things supply chain, operations, continuous improvement, and just general technology to improve the workplace, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you click that bell notification so you can get the updates every week where we're constantly posting educational resources that'll help drive continuous improvement in your life. Well, this week we're gonna look at a really cool feature inside of Google Sheets known as the autocomplete function. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to turn on the autocomplete function and a couple of the features that are included in that autocomplete function. So right behind me, you'll see a sheet here that we've set up as a template. And <clears throat> basically what you want to do if you want an autocomplete is go up to your toolbar and you'll come down to autocomplete and you'll see four different options. We'll see enable autocomplete, enable formula suggestions, enable formula corrections, and enable named function suggestions. So basically these are gonna allow you to do a few different things and let's just take a look at them. If you don't have them enabled, go ahead and click on the ones that you want enabled and we'll go through a few of the features right now. So you'll see that I have this list here. One of the cool features about autocomplete is that when you're typing something out, let's say you have a list of stuff and we need to type logistics again, but you don't necessarily want to use a drop down menu to select it. You just want it to show up so that you can go ahead and move forward. So let's type in logistics and you'll see that it starts to pop up after the first few letters. Now we can either keep typing to change that or we can just simply hit tab and we're done with it. Again, if you have a word, like let's say USA, you'll see I can type in the U and the autocomplete will kick in and it'll guess that I'm looking for the word USA, which I am. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Very helpful as you can tell, it can really lower your keystrokes in a spreadsheet. Now one of the other ones that's really helpful that we saw here in the autocomplete function is to enable the formula suggestions. So let's go back to our sheet here and what we will do is go ahead and X these out. And what we'll do is say number of locations. Once we have that, we're just gonna put some random numbers, two, four, five, eight, nine, three, five, and six. Now let's say you have all these locations and you wanna total up the complete number of locations that you have. So we would use a sum function for this. So let's go ahead and hit our equal sign. And you can see that right away, Google Sheets intuitively suggests to me that I should use the sum function for the range B2 through B9. So kind of cool because that's what we're looking for. And that's part of the auto function suggestion that we saw in the toolbar. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that and you'll see that it'll automatically sum those up. Makes it a lot quicker than having to type out your entire function. So we go back over here, we have a couple more. So you see it suggested a formula there. And now we have enable formula corrections. So this is a nice feature because if you're not really familiar with formulas and you write one out wrong or you're off a little bit, you can sometimes hover over it and it'll show you how to correct that formula. And the final one is to enable the named functions or suggestions. And so these are when we have uh, certain functions that we've named, we can go through them and it'll automatically pull those up and we can select them. Let's look at uh, one more here, just so we can understand really well. So we've got our locations here that we see, business and manufacturing. And let's say that we erase this and we're gonna put total down here. We're gonna go ahead and come back up and bold that. And then we hit the equal again. 
you'll see that it'll automatically suggest that formula for us. So that's really awesome. We can also go back up here and you can see that um, it gives us the option right there to enable formula suggestions or the named suggestions. Now we're good with this one. We like it. So we'll go ahead and hit enter and just select that. Or if we want to come back over here, we can type in just the few first few words. So very helpful to have the autofill uh, selection turned on. And again, to do that, we go up into our toolbar, down to autocomplete, and you can enable autocomplete, you can enable formula suggestions, you can enable formula corrections, and you can enable named function suggestions. So if you have any questions about the autocomplete um, option inside of Google Sheets that is from your toolbar or your drop down menu under tools, go ahead and put those in the comment below. We'll read them and get back to you as soon as we can. Now have fun and we'll see you next week.